So today we're going to talk about squaring binomials. And the reason we learn how to square binomials after we learn how to FOIL is because that is how you, that's the same way we're going to go about squaring this binomial. So a lot of people, when they see this, a plus b squared, they would write a squared plus b squared. Well, this does not equal that. Because this is saying a plus b times a plus b. And when we FOIL this out, we get a squared plus outer a times b, a b, plus inner b a, plus b squared. So you get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And as you can see, this is not the same thing as a squared plus b squared. So you have to make sure that you FOIL it out every time you square a binomial. So now we're going to do a couple examples. So this is the same thing as this times this. So we're going to multiply the first two. 25b squared. And then we're going to multiply the outsides. So 10b, the insides, 10b, and the outsides. So 25b squared plus 20b plus 4. So now the shortcut to this is knowing that this is that you're squaring a binomial, you can go back to this formula right here and just follow this step. So you square the first term, so 25b squared. You multiply the these two together and you get 10b and then you multiply it by 2. You get 20b and then you square this last term and you get 4. So if you can remember the shortcut, it'll save you a little time. But if you can't, then just FOIL it out like you would FOIL out a normal binomial. So this time we're going to do this one using the shortcut. So we're going to square the first term 2 times these two terms multiplied, 7a plus 2b, and square the last term. Now I put these two in parentheses so that we remember that we can't just square the a, we have to square the 7 as well. So this becomes 49a squared plus 7, that should be multiplication, 7a times 12b is, is 14ab times 2 is 28ab plus 2 squared is 4b squared, which is just b squared. So that's how you square a binomial. So that's all we're doing with squaring binomials today. But make sure you come back and check out our next lesson where we're going to use all of our knowledge of multipl multiplying and adding and subtracting binomials and polynomials to solve polynomial equations. So make sure you come back and check that out.